This is how you can make a join to create VC system for your Discord.js version 14 pod. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super or god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have the bot tier, which is the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos, as well as three bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. All right, so to start, let's go over to schemas, and we're going to go ahead and create vccreate.js. We're going to need to store our guild string, our channel string, our name string, our limit string, and our category string. We're also going to need to create vccreateuser.js. It's going to be the user schema. We're just going to store the guild, the channel, and the user as strings. So now let's go ahead and get out of here. Now we can go ahead and create vccreate.js within commands. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do in here is get our slash command builder, embed builder, channel type, and permissions bit field from our discord.js package. We're going to get both of the schemas we just created, and we're going to get a word filter from this npm package here that I created. This is just going to block specific words from being used in the name when you use the name change discord command. So just go ahead and install that if you need to. Then go ahead and do module.exports, and we can go ahead and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We're going to go ahead and set a name, which is going to be VC create. We can go ahead and set a description to VC create. We're going to go ahead and get a number of different commands. The first command is going to be set up with the description of set up the system. We're going to add channel option with the name channel with the description of the VC to be your join to create VC. We're going to add a channel types with the channel type name of guild voice. We're going to set required on that to true. We're going to add a string option with the name of name with the description of the name of your sub VCs and we're going to set required to true. We're going to add an integer option with the name limit, the description of the limit for your VCs. We're going to set min value to one and max value to 99. Then we're going to add a disable command with the description of disable. We're also going to add a rename command with the name rename, the description rename your VC. We're going to have a string option here with the name of name and the description of the name to rename your VC to and required is going to be enabled on that as well. Then we can do async executes. We're going to go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. First thing that we're going to go ahead and do is get our options from our interaction. We're going to get our subcommand from our options.get subcommand and we're going to get server data from our VC create schema using our guild ID. Then we can write out our send message function with the parameter of message here. We're going to create a new embed and we're going to pass in our message parameter in the description and then we're going to go ahead and send that embed in a new reply. Then we can go ahead and switch to our subcommand. We're going to get our case, which is going to be set up. And then this, let's go ahead and get a permissions check. So what we're going to say is if no interaction.member.permissions.has permissions bit field flags administrator, then we're going to return send a message saying only admins can use this. Then we can go ahead and say if server data, then we can go ahead and return await send message. Within that, we're going to say this system is already set up here. Then we can go ahead and say else, and we're going to go ahead and get our variables. We're going to get our channel. We're going to go ahead and get our name. We can get our limit. Um, and then we can go ahead and create our schema using all of those. So we can go ahead and do await vc create dot create. We're going to go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id. Our channel can be our channel.id. We can get our name, and that's going to be the name variable. And then we're going to get our limits, which is going to be limits. We can also get our category, which can be our channel.parent ID. Then we can go ahead and do a wait send message, and we can just go ahead and get a globe emoji. And we can say, I have set up the join to create system in, and we can go ahead and get our channel just like that. Then we're going to come out of this, and we can break, and we're going to get a new case, which is going to be disabled. Within this, just like before, we're going to go ahead and create a permissions check. And then after we do that, we can go ahead and say if no server data, then we can go ahead and return a message that says this system is not already set up here. Then we can go ahead and say else and we can open this up. We're going to do a wait vc create dot delete one. We're going to get our interaction dot guild dot id as our guild. And then we can go ahead and send a message 
saying that we have disabled the join to create VC system. After we do that simple command, we can go ahead and create our rename command. So we're going to break, we can get our case, which is going to be rename. Let's go ahead and do const user data equals await VC create user dot find one. We're going to go ahead and get our user, which is going to be our interaction dot user dot ID. Then we can go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot ID. So we have our data there. We can say if, and we can do no user data. Then we're going to return await send message and we can go ahead and get an error emoji and we can say you don't own a vc just like that then we can go ahead and say else and we're going to do const rename equals options a get string and that is going to be our name string then we can do const check equals await and we can do word filter and we're going to get our rename string just like that. So what we've done is we have used the NPM package that I created above up here um, that has a whole array of blocked phrases and words and everything that we can go ahead and compare the string to using the package. Um, and then if it goes ahead and returns true, we're going to need to send an error so we can do if check then we can go ahead and return await send message. And we can say the name rename has a blacklisted word slash term. Then we can do const vc equals await interaction dot guild dot channels dot fetch. And we're gonna get our user data dot channel. We can say if no vc, then we're gonna go ahead and return await send message. And we're gonna say you don't own that vc anymore just in case it got deleted. Then we're gonna go ahead and try and we can do await vc dot set name. And that's going to be rename. Uh, and then we can do await send message and we're going to go ahead and say your VC is now called rename. Then we can go ahead and catch our error and we're going to go ahead and console dot error our error. Uh, and then we can do await send message and send a error message on discord. Um, and then within this, we can say something went wrong. All right, so that's all we have to do for the commands. Let's go ahead and close out and we can go over to events. Let's go ahead and create VC create.js within our events. And we can go ahead and get started with handling the joining and leaving. So we're going to get our events, embed builder and channel type from discord.js. And we're going to get both schemas. Then we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and get our name, which is going to be events.voice state update. And we can do async execute. We can get our clients we can get our old states and we can get our new states and we can go ahead and open this up we're gonna do if and we can say old state dot channel uh, and we can do and new states dot channel and actually we're gonna say if no old state dot channel then we can go ahead and open this up so within this we're gonna go ahead and handle the creation of our VC so we can actually go ahead and call this VC create and then within this let's go ahead and do const server data equals await vc create dot find one we're going to get our guild which is going to be new state dot guild dot id then we can go ahead and say if no server data or new states dot channel dot id is not equal to our server data dot channel then we're just going to go to return and do nothing otherwise we can go ahead and create a new voice channel by doing const channel equals await new states dot guild dot channels dot create and we're gonna go ahead and get our name, which is gonna be server data dot name. We can get our type, which is going to be our channel type dot guild voice. We can get our parents, which is going to be server data dot category. And we're gonna get our user limits, which is going to be server data dot limits. Uh, or we can do nothing by doing zero. So now that we have our channel created, let's go ahead and store the new channel and user in our user database by doing await vc create user dot create. And we can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna get our guild, which is going to be new state dot guild ID. We can get our user, which is gonna be new state dot user. Actually, we're gonna say member dot ID. Uh, and then we're gonna get our channel, which is going to be our channel dot ID from the channel variable we created above. So we've created all of the information we need, including the channel. So now let's go ahead and move the member that created the channel into their channel. So we're going to go ahead and actually stay inside of this and we can do await new state dot member dot voice dot set channel. And we're going to set it to the channel just like that. And we might as well catch an error in case they leave the VC in that time. Uh, and we can just go ahead and do nothing. So now we can go ahead and say VC deletes because this is going to be our deleting logic. So we're going to go ahead and say if and we can do old state dot channel and we can do no new state dot channel. 
uh, that's going to be our leaving event. So we can open this up. We're going to do const user data equals await VC create user dot find one with our channel as our old state dot channel dot ID. Then we can go ahead and say if no user data, we can just go ahead and return. We're also going to do const channel equals await old state dot guild dot channels dot resolve. And we're going to do old state dot channel that ID. We're going to say if channel and our channel.members.size is equal to zero, then we can go ahead and do await vc create user that delete one. We're going to get our channel, which can be our old state that channel dot ID. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and delete the actual channel itself. So we can do await channel that delete. And we're going to go ahead and catch an error as well and we can just do nothing there all right so now we actually have all of the code done here we have our logic and we have our commands so let's go ahead and save the files restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server i actually have the system already set up so let's go ahead and disable it and it's going to say i've disabled the join vc system so now we can actually go ahead and set it up and we're going to go ahead and set it up with this create vc channel right here in this create vc category so let's go ahead and copy that id and we're going to go ahead and do vc create and we can do setup uh, let's just go ahead and paste that id or we could select the vc right here uh, we can go ahead and name our sub vcs uh, that's going to be the name of the vcs that we go ahead and create once we create the new vc um, so we can just say name test um, and then limit let's just go ahead and test our limit let's go ahead and make a three limit uh, vc so let's go ahead and send it and it's gonna go ahead and say the system is set up. So now off the bat, let's just go ahead and click on this and we can go ahead and join. And it's gonna go ahead and create me my brand new VC uh, with the name name test and the limit is going to be one out of three. So now let's go ahead and see what happens if I leave the VC. As you can see, it's gonna actually delete that VC. If another member was in it at the time that I left, nothing would happen because I am the owner of the VC and in order for it to be deleted, I actually have to leave it myself. But since we're back in the VC, let's go ahead and try to rename it to test. Um, and as you can see, it's going to say my VC is now called test. Now it's important to know that term did have to pass through the blacklisted word search. If we go ahead and do it again, and this time we use a word that's in that term, we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's going to say that term is blacklisted. Um, and it's not going to allow me to change the name. So that is very useful using that package that I created for this video. Uh, that way we don't have server members essentially rating the server by using blacklisted, uh, words, um, to create VCs. So let's go ahead and try to name it one more time. We can just say my VC um, and we can go ahead and send it uh, and it's going to rename it to my VC. So everything should be working as is. Let's go ahead and leave it. So that's how you can make an advanced join to create system for discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go to join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.